There's been something I've wanted to do with my guy Elvis here for so long. I mean, literally, I've been thinking about this for like a year and a half. And that's to actually get Elvis, take him to my house where I have an amazing pond, and actually let him explore himself around. It's a beautiful day outside, perfect weather for it. So I'm going to go ahead and get Jay the Edutainer. We're going to harness him up, put him in the Reptarium van, and we're heading on to my house and let Elvis have a little fun time outside. Okay, got Jay, and uh, we just got to harness him up. You need help or you got? No, I think that I got it. All right, he does good. And we're gonna put this up harness on just so that we have, if we have to retrieve him at any point, uh, I don't think he's gonna be a problem, but hey, whatever. Mm. Elvis, look at that. How There's nothing. That? that was easier than my dogs. Actually. I know. I think Elvis is excited, you know? He's kind of like a dog going for a walk, but this time he's going for a little swim outside in the pond. So, Elvis, you ready to go? Let's go, buddy. Come on, Elvis. Did I tell you you're going in the back? With him? Yeah. There's no seats. I oh know. Oh God, here he goes. Ow, it's okay. already so bad. You, know, you mean sitting up there, right? No, you're just sitting back here with him. Dad, Dad, he's pooping. No, it's definitely poop. Dad, Find the key. Dad, can Donna's you get the, up? Dad, wait, Dad. Dad, can you please go get paper towel because Elvis pre-pooped already. Thanks. <laughs> Is that what you want it? Ready to do this? Yep, going great. All right, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> we got Elvis in the backyard. He's gonna get a chance. He's gonna love the sun back here. He's just, he doesn't know what to think right now. He's just like, wow, this is super cool. So we're just gonna let him run around in the course. The pond is over here. So it's got a little bit of shade and stuff like that. Probably if it was sunnier and later in the afternoon, it might be better because he'd probably even like it more. But it's going to be kind of cool. We'll let him just wander around. When he finds the pond, he can go in there and have a great time. We'll actually take the leash off so that he can actually swim around. So this would be pretty cool. You having a good time, buddy? This is the first time he's been out here, so he's just kind of figuring it out, right? And I love it because he's using his brain, he's thinking this is great mental enrichment. Definitely got to do this more often, not just with Elvis, but a bunch of the animals. Get outside with them. I think it's absolutely amazing. Oh my god! <laughs> what? So he had a nice little swim. It took him a while to finally go in. But he's definitely had a nice swim. Now he's kind of coming out. I think I'm going to try some training with the ball. I've got the blue ball and I've got some chicken. So maybe I can get him to come in and kind of swim around in the pond a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't kill me because some of the flowers are getting beat up by Elvis just climbing around. But this is absolutely amazing. What a fun time. Let's go get the ball and see if we can get him back in the water. So I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. He seems to be pretty happy just chilling out. But I'm going to see if I can't get him in the water. Maybe swim him around and see if he takes some food. So uh, let's just try it out. I'm pretty sure Elvis had an absolutely amazing time, uh, but it is time that we have to get back to reality. So we're gonna load Elvis up and get back to the shop. But I promise you, we'll be doing this more this summer.
All right, LV. It's even hissing at me. Are we back to the reptarium yet? Ow, oh, God. <laughs> Dude, he gets you, bro. It's that. It's the back foot. It hurts so bad. There you go, Elvis. I hope you had a good time, buddy. I tell you what, that was a lot of fun. Welcome to the vlog, Reptile Army. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Well, Jessica came to me today, and we have a few extra male lychee geckos that we are going to be putting on the site. One of my favorites. I've loved these since the first time that we saw them years ago. I'm so excited that we're working with them. So I almost feel like Brian right now because I really hate to sell any of them, but we just don't need the extra males. Um, but they're so cute and these guys are already so big. So I'm sure they probably won't last long once I put them on the site. Um, but I really will be sad to see them go. A little update when it comes to the expansion. I want your guys' opinion because there's so many things going on in my mind. So obviously, we know the upstairs is gonna be the aquarium side. So the original drawings were that the upstairs would actually come out to the edge of this sidewalk right here. So it's almost like a little bit of an underhang. But after talking to my builder, the biggest issue is gonna be supporting that stingray tank. So he said if we can come out even further than that, we can actually do the support out here, which would be much better. And to be honest with you, you can see this building over here. This is the line that you're allowed to build to. So the question I have is originally the building was going to come out to here and then I wasn't going to allow people to park up there anymore because the parking lot sucks. All the parking should be in back. And I was thinking about doing like a giant outdoor pond here. That would be cool. So essentially you would have the aquarium upstairs, the reptarium downstairs, and then down here this outdoor enclosure that would be a giant koi pond. Maybe even some tortoise pens for the summertime. I'm not 100% sure. But now I'm thinking if we have to come out with this top side all the way to this edge of this building here, which is essentially here, now there would still be no parking. But now the question is, should we bring this building, the Reptarium, all the way out to here too? So we have the downstairs and upstairs. So this whole area would be in addition to the Reptarium. We'd essentially be adding over 2,000 square foot to the Reptarium, and we'd be adding an additional 2,000 square foot to the aquarium already, so we could do more stuff. I just don't know. It's gonna be more expensive, obviously, but we get all that extra space, or do I go ahead and just do it to here? It might cost a little bit to put the footings inside and have this an outdoor pond. I don't know, guys. My mind is spinning, so I need your advice in the comments what would you like to see help me out with this i need it trust me what can you say about a brazilian rainbow boa other than they're absolutely incredible you know when i was a kid i remember being like just blown away by brazilian rainbows but we only saw pictures of them there was actually a place called the tropical fish pond which was one of only two pet shops in the area that carried reptiles and a guy named jeff g actually ran it and i was like maybe 15, 16 years old, and he got some baby Brazilian rainbow boys. And he always had some of the most interesting reptiles, there's no doubt about it. Ironically enough, he was like two miles away from the Detroit Zoo. I go to the Detroit Zoo with my mom and then beg her to go to the tropical fish pond. So regardless, I remember seeing my first little baby Brazilian rainbow at the tropical fish pond, and I was obsessed with them ever since. At the time, I couldn't afford them. They were like $400 or something like that. Now Brazilian rainbow boys are being bred pretty regular, and they're really available during the summer to fall months, there's no doubt about it. And, uh, they're just absolutely incredible animals. The only thing I will say is when they are babies, they need high humidity. If you don't have a big water bowl and higher humidity, they will do terrible. But once they get a little bit of size to it, they become much more forgiving with that. You still want to keep the humidity up and stuff and the hydration up, there's no doubt about it, but they're not as touchy. A baby literally without water for 24 hours will dehydrate and die, whereas an adult obviously is a little bit more hardy than that. But that's the only thing that's bad about Brazilians. Other than that, they're absolutely incredible. I'm so blessed that I'm able to work with them. Stop. Go away. So we're about halfway through hatching uh, in the 2021 leopard gecko season, and I wanted to just show off some of the uh, some of the first babies that we've popped out. See how they're progressing. This is actually one of our bold bells. It's got a really nice stripe down its back, and it's coming. It's got a lot more orange on it, which is what I'm trying to work on with our bold bells now is to get more orange to come out. This one's going to be really really cool looking when it gets bigger. Um, all this purple on it, unfortunately, it'll disappear, but it's going to turn bright orange where all that purple is and it's already got a lot of orange on its head i have a new raptor male uh breeding this season and he's so so pretty so i'm hoping like all his offspring look just about the same so this is one of our max snows um it's not 
nothing too special uh, but we are working on just refining a lot of our jeans and making them look better so this one's gonna have a lot of really nice bold head patterning I can already tell it's gonna be a probably a white and yellow max snow bandit and uh, it's got a lot of reduced uh, black on there too which is pretty cool so this one's just a simple tangerine uh, again all this purple is gonna turn either green or orange with the tangerines so it may end up actually being an emerine more so uh, when it gets bigger. Emerine is just a line of tangerines uh, that have a lot of green on them and I don't remember this one might come from that emerine line which is what like if you look right here it's starting to transition from purple to more of like a greenish color. This one just hatched out not too long ago. It's going to be really cool looking though. Look at all that orange on its head. So this one's gonna end up being a tangerine eclipse. It's hard to see its little eyes, but they're all black. But yeah, again, all this purple and black on here is probably gonna turn either bright orange or green color. Bye right, guys, we're cleaning the turtle pot. Let's do this. Thank you. What's up? Come on. No. Another clutch that I'm gonna say that I'm super excited about because I am excited about it. By the way, we're pulling all the clutches, but not all of them are gonna make the vlog because we don't wanna bore you that much. So the ones that we pull that aren't on the vlog are gonna be over on our Patreon channel. Uh, down below, we'll be posting probably three videos a week of pulling eggs. Egg cutting is gonna be the same thing over there. Other exclusive content over on Patreon. In the meantime, this is actually a pastel female that is head for clown. She's got one little egg out, so let's pull this egg and just get it right over here. And she was bred to this killer leopard clown. So it's a super pastel, it's a leopard, and it's a clown ball python. So let's just keep that game going. Down in the comments, let me know what you think are going to be produced. A killer leopard clown bred to a pastel hat for clown. Again, I'll be keeping an eye in the comments. Let's see how many eggs mama has. And here we go. Let's see what's going on. Love this clutch for sure. Going to be some really cool things. Does look like there's a slugger in here, but only one little slugger, so that's not too bad. It's just weird. This year, there's been a lot of clutches that have been perfect clutches with one slug in them. I don't know what the deal is with that, because it just kind of is weird right that only one egg wouldn't be fertilized regardless we end up with two four six seven good eggs can't complain down in the comments i want to know what you guys are doing you can go back and forth in the comments we help each other try to come up with the combos you're going to get from this clutch you're going to make this is jess's piece i'm hogging, <laughs> I'm hogging the piece jay hope you enjoyed today's video if you did do me a favor right over here is a playlist you can hit a video or two it would mean a lot to me also it would mean a lot to me if you go over here and hit that subscription button have an absolutely wonderful day reptile army remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you in the next one